it's Aaliyah, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a subject that I feel super passionate about and that is underrated Disney movies. What are you doing? You don't wanna be in this video. You're not underrated. I'm also wearing my Great Movie Ride shirt, uh, RIP. Sorry if you can hear the lawn people outside my apartment building. They're just super loud right now and I love it. Anyways, I love talking about underrated Disney movies because I personally, I pretty much like every single Disney movie aside from like the good dinosaur. <laughs> um, and so the ones that don't get enough hype as they deserve, I get really emotional about <laughs> because I want every Disney movie to be adored, <laughs> but I know that's not gonna happen. Everyone has different tastes, whatever. Some movies just do way better than others. There's just so many out there that deserve more credit, more recognition, um, and some on this list you might not even know about. So maybe this list will inspire you to go watch them and then they'll be like your new favorite. That would be amazing. But anyways, I have 10 movies on my list, so let's just jump right into it. The first one I have is one of my personal favorites and that is Hercules. I feel like Hercules is incredibly underrated. <laughs> I get so freaking heated about it, especially in the Disney parks. Like there's no merch for Hercules. It's so hard to find something for that movie. You can only meet Hercules and Meg on like special occasions. Hades is one of my favorite villains. I think he's so freaking funny. That movie is just incredible all around. The storyline of it, oh gosh, I shit myself in the face. The Greek mythology, the songs, like it's just, Oh gosh, it just deserves way more credit. And I don't know why, honestly, it's not as popular as some of the other popular Disney movies, but for whatever reason, it's not, and I feel like that needs to change. <laughs> Disney parks, step it up with your Hercules merchandise. We need more of it, thank you. The second movie on my list is Oliver and Company. A lot of you might not even know Oliver and Company. It's not super... <laughs> Mowgli. Some of you might not even know what Oliver and Company is. It's not super popular and super well known. Um, it should be, <laughs> but that's why we're here. Uh, it's just really cute, especially if you're a dog slash cat lover. It's just a really great film. It's about a little cat who doesn't have a home. He's a stray and he finds his calling basically in a pack of dogs. So it's really cute and really great. And Mowgli, get out of the frame. I don't know, I watched that movie so much when I was a kid, so it, it'll always have a special place in my heart. The third one I have on my list is Ratatouille. Now this might be next from the list once the Ratatouille ride in Walt Disney World opens, um, because maybe it'll get more recognition and people will actually enjoy it more, but in my opinion, Ratatouille is underrated. It's one of those Pixar movies I feel like people forget about sometimes. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know, it's just great. But like I said, it might start getting more recognition now that the ride is opening. Um, so, you know, this could all change. <laughs> Fourth one on my list is Big Hero 6. Um, now, I haven't seen Big Hero 6 in a little bit, but I do believe that it did not get as popular as it should, or as it should have. That movie was really freaking good. It was really, really emotional, okay? I cried a lot. <laughs> But I don't know, it's just so good. The little gang they form is just awesome and Baymax is super cute. I don't know, I don't know. And same with like Baymax met in the parks for a little while and then they took him out and now it's just kind of like, Big Hero 6 was a little bit erased. So I don't know. It's not even like a super old film either. I can't remember what year it was released, but it was really not that long ago if you think about it. So. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't do as well as it should have, who knows. But yeah, if you haven't seen Big Hero 6, go watch it, it's incredible. The fifth one on my list is another one that I hold super dear and close to my heart and that is Treasure Planet. I don't know why, but Treasure Planet was like my go-to movie as a kid. I watched it so many times, I couldn't even tell you how many times I've seen it. It is such a good freaking movie. It's a little weird, it's a little different. Uh, you wouldn't even think that it's a Disney movie, honestly, but, oh man, is it good. There's a lot of people that know about Treasure Planet but don't realize that it's a Disney movie. Um, and then there's probably a ton of people who've never even heard of it, so. It's just about this guy, 
going to find Treasure Planet, really. <laughs> There's a lot more to it. The characters are really great. The story is awesome. It's just a good movie. The sixth one on my list is another one I watched a ton as a kid, and that is Dinosaur. Now, the ride Dinosaur in Animal Kingdom is kind of uh, based off the movie. Um, the main purpose in that ride is that you're going to find this dino, and it is the dinosaur from dinosaur. Take a shot every time I say dinosaur. Um, but no, this movie is so good. It's again, pretty emotional. It's a little bit different than some of the other Disney movies. It is animated, but it looks a little different than your typical animated movie. Um, it's just a CGI, I guess is what it is, but it's really good. It's basically about the meteor has hit and this big group of dinos are off to find this land that they can live in now because their home was obviously destroyed. Um, but your main dinosaur, I, for the life of me, cannot remember his name. I'm gonna have to look it up. Your main dinosaur, Aladar, was raised by monkeys. Um, his egg was stolen by some little raptor thing and abandoned basically and some monkeys found it and they raised him um but when the meteors hit their home was obviously destroyed and so they kind of have to join this new pack of dinos to try to find a better home um and it's honestly a lot of drama and a lot of great content <laughs> the seventh one on my list um i'm not sure if it's widely known as underrated, but to me it is, and that's Princess and the Frog. I remember the year it came out on DVD, I remember I got it for like Easter or something from my mom, and I watched it every single day for like a week and a half straight. <laughs> I loved it, and I still love it. Um, and I just don't think that Tiana herself gets kind of like enough recognition that she deserves, so. Yes, let's all start recognizing Tiana and let's all love Princess and the Frog together. Number eight is The Emperor's New Groove. This I feel like was more popular back in the day and since then it's kind of like been forgotten about a little bit. Um, it's freaking hilarious. I just watched it recently for the first time in a while on Netflix and it's so freaking funny. And I know like the whole pull the lever thing is still floating around out there in meme world, but the movie in itself I feel like is pretty underrated, so uh, it's just a good one. <laughs> Number nine is Tarzan. Tarzan is a really, really great film. Um, and again, I feel like it doesn't get enough recognition as it deserves. I feel like the soundtrack does, <laughs> um, which understandable, like the soundtrack is incredible and amazing, but the movie itself um, doesn't get as much hype as the soundtrack. Yeah, and fun fact for all you Scandal fans, the president, whatever his name is, I've literally watched the show maybe one time, he plays the voice of Tarzan. <laughs> so if you love Scandal, you'll love Tarzan as well because it's the same guy. <laughs> but again, I feel like Tarzan's just one of those where the music gets a lot of hype, but the movie itself really doesn't, which is kind of a bummer because it's a great movie. <laughs> and the last underrated movie I have for you guys is Saving Mr. Banks. <laughs> Now, I understand why this one is kind of underrated and not as popular as some of the others. It is a live action and uh, I don't know, I feel like it's geared maybe more towards older like adults. <laughs> not older adults, but like just adults in general. If you've never heard of it, basically it's about Walt Disney gaining the rights to Mary Poppins because before Walt Disney made Mary Poppins, it was a book and he had to go through the drama of being able to make the film. The woman who wrote the book uh, didn't want to give it up that easy and she hated Walt Disney and hated all of his ideas at first and so they have like a whole back and forth thing. And to make it even better, Walt Disney is played by Tom Hanks, so I couldn't think of anyone else better to play that role. He does it incredibly. <laughs> It's just a really, really good movie, and it really, I don't know. If you're a big fan of Mary Poppins, you'll love Saving Mr. Banks, because it kind of gives you a new perspective on it, um, kind of seeing how it was made in movie form. So there you have it. Those are 10 Disney movies I feel like are super underrated. If you agree with me, disagree, or have any other underrated movies you can think of, leave them below in the comments. I'd love to start a little discussion down there, but yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. If you haven't seen Aladdin yet, please go see it. It's, 
so magical and so incredible. Mowgli wanted to say hi to the camera uh, before we left, so here's Mowgli. He's so freaking cute. You're so freaking cute. Look at the camera. <laughs> and there's Jasmine sleeping like a freaking angel. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Um, rest in peace to the great movie ride if you were able to experience it. That's great. I'm still not over it, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.